Hello and welcome. In this screencast, I'm going to show some problems with Visual Studio 2010, which occurs with data binding in the Windows Forms application design after changing some properties of the application, in particular, changing its target from 86, x86 to x64. And I'm going to show these problems by an example. Let's create a new project of Windows Forms application. And uh, I'm going to show first how to create a new data binding. Let's create a new data item, data object class, and let's call it, for example, data item. Uh, we make this class public, just in case. And adds two uh, properties to this class. The first one will be ID, and the next one will be its name, the office data item. So both properties will be public. First one is ID. This property is accessible for both read and write. The same is for another property. Name. Now we are going to rebuild our solution to be able to use uh, data find. And now we're creating a new data resource which is supposed to be used in our controls to bind it to the specific data object. This then data binding is based on this data item class created previously. So we are going to pick up this class here. And now data source has been created and we are able to use it in uh, our controls in this one, particularly, for example, in data grid view which is very useful for, for uh, editing data. We are just supposed to select this data item here, and now we are able to start the application and show what is possible to start using data binding with this new created uh, as an application. It's very easy. But now I'm going to change just one particular property of this project to ruin this data binding in the, uh, the designer of Visual Studio. I'm going to change its platform parameter from uh, x86 to x64. And be sure, just rebuild the solution. See now that the designer fails and is unable to show us this form. It shows us instead just uh, some bugs and some errors. These are all means just what uh, now currently uh, the designer of Visual Studio Development is unable to find particular class data item that we may created previously. What's the problem? Probably this problem is caused by changing this uh, application target from x86 to x64 while the whole Visual Studio Development is still x86 application and is unable to address to x 64 classes. Now we are able to ignore these problems and we see that uh, this control uh, data grid view is no longer uh, show us, shows us columns of the data body class and we are able to change the data source for our automatically created uh, data item being in source control. So, so we are unable to do this. Uh, but still, we are able to execute this project application, and it still works. So that means that uh, only the designer of Visual Studio 2010 is no, no longer works. And we can fix it by just changing back this property from x64 to x86. Excuse me. And now we are easy. We can just repeat the solution and see after closing and reopening this uh, form 1. Again, it still works again with the designer. To be clear, let's create another solution, uh, another project, sorry. This will be another Windows Forms application project, and we will change this project's property target from x86 to x64 initially from the beginning. And we are able to save it and create the same class data item as we did before. 
we just copy paste this class contains for the previous project. It's quite easy. Now we're going to review the solution and review the project for Windows Forms Application 2 and try to create a new data source. And we see what we are unable even to see the list of the classes of the of classes of this particular project application. Let's fix it by changing the property index to, to 886. Changing, reveal the solution, and now we can see all the types we need. So I suppose this might be at least noticed by, the de by developers and uh, known in the future. Or at least this might be uh, as a result of some problem in Visual Studio or even bug that might be solved or at least address it somehow. Thank you for your attention.